You'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. And he'll be stopped right around where he knee, maybe a young guy there at the 24. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, and thanks to for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Second and nine. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. First down carry for Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a run because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A couple of the first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing Jones. That's complete right side. Asiasi. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. On the give, this is Harris. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Jones now on first down. And this one all. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive. INT. On second down, this is Harris. And he's going to be down at the 35. Game of seven. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things. It looks like it's going like clockwork right now. For them. Now that Patriot sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful. And this is going to be hauled in. Oh, what a catch at the 10. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Man, I gotta... Man, I gotta... 
Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. They'll try and run with the fullback, Johnson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback die. How about a big that one up? He needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. From the two now. Second and goal. Again, it's Harris. And he is in. Damian Harris taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is, we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback back to the 25. Offense going to work as usual. It's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. Part of his career defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now he's turned himself into a true dual threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But you've got to do it in your own backfield. I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. You're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up? And he's brought down. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first and 10, it's Talbots. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Bore down defenses and able to break big runs in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now 
gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everybody's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sidelines thinking to themselves, and the expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. You know, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken them back downfield. I love this field general that they've got. It's almost like he went to the defensive captain and said, don't worry about it. We've got touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Tucker able to get on the extra point. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taylor now from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. He completes it to Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. On third down, here's Harris. And it finds its way forward to about the 48-yard line. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now... They go play action here on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And the Ravens will take. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Complete Hunter Henry with the grab. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. Looking here for Smith downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard.
Patriots are back within a score. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. They have tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles Way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description that maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Jackson. And it's throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out of here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here... And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It is a sack. And he is going to bring us to the two minute warning. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Gunnar Olszewski deep for New England. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Harris starts to drive on the ground, finding some room at midfield. And finally brought down at the 38. 80 yards on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. Here's Harris. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. It was Tyus Bowser that time who made the play on the defensive side. Throwing on second down. Jones rolling to his right. He's going to let this go. Back to the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Back to throw. Jones. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. This Ravens offense heads back out there, led by Lamar Jackson, and he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they feel really good about how I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end. Now the Ravens 
going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's Jackson. Rolling to his left. Shedding the tackle. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. From the gun, Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher. And I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three. And I think it was a smart one. The Pats at the line ready to go. And this is potentially a nervy situation this close to their own goal line. Here's Jones to throw from his end zone. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Pass incomplete with the flag in the backfield. And this might be a rough and roll. So they got some pressure, maybe hoping to get a safety, and they get roughing the passer. And gave up a pass completion as well. Nothing really went right on that play for them. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Ravens out in front as we now proceed to the start of the second half. ready to receive it and they got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half and not willing to risk another fumble he'll sit on this one it's a touchback out come the Ravens now they'll go to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 97 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Jones on first and 10. Throwing over the middle, but incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. They'll run again with Harris. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a four. understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in between range and they'll go for it on fourth down. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all because it harkened back to the days when we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive 
give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first down. That's what we just saw right there. Here's second and ten. They hand this off to Harris. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten, when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass and sometimes you throw what a touchdown strike. There you go. That's my man in concert. So all square here in this third quarter as the kicks away. It's a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. He's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three and second down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, stand up and go and get tough in here. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. On first down, Harris. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Off play action. 
Kitchen. Jones. on Shaq Mason, the guard. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. They'll run with Harris. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Jones on third down. Man, it's Kendrick Bull. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there for the Patriots. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Harris going to get it again on second down. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. A give to Harris. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Fourth down now after a loss of two. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Did a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down about the 40-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce, but you never know where it's going to end up. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's Edwards again on second down, and he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Four yards on the pick up there, and down their left with a third and eight. Jackson on the give to Dobbins, and he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. On the return is Olszewski. as they take over first and ten. New England's offense set to go. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Jones now throwing on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And this lines up a gain of four to the 41. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is
is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. He's going to have the first down at about the 38. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Off the play fake. Jones. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he's out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. The partner, they locked in man coverage out left and end up running across the ground. Rounded it a little bit more than a set. He's just going to add on some sort of right side of the field. That was very difficult for the defender to the shot on the contact. away with the interception. Here's Jones on first down. Open man is Myers. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They'll toss to Harris. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he picks up the first, and he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. 159 yards on the ground for him now, as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Good game there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. one in. Extra point up and good by Fulton. And the lead now up to 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished the
things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And not willing to risk another punt, but he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. With his guy trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive.
Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors. Get still play perfect football. This well up field across the 45. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception. Really bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it. like he'll throw here. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Finally a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. On second down. It's Harris. Now the Ravens are going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Again, it's Harris. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Raptors the second of their timeouts as they stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. And he's going to get a solid game of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No game on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This to make it a two-score game. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this will be next time. But until then. This game's over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense.